Hello everyone again, this is Antonio and I'm coming at you with another exciting video. First of all, I would like to start off by saying that this is not financial advice. The purpose of this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Also, for those that don't know me, I don't know anything about this channel. On this channel, we speak about stock, cryptocurrency, personal and business credit. So without further ado, let's talk about the metaverse mania. Is the central land the next Roblox? Now, this is an interesting subject. Before I get into the article, one thing you got to think about is the gaming uh, arena. A lot of times, how kids think about gaming, right? So when you think about is the central land the next Roblox, I would say is the central land the next the central land because Roblox have so much time and so much children that's involved in this game. Yes, older people do play Roblox, but a lot of the NFTs is definitely children. Like, I remember my daughter, she used my credit card because I had a credit card on file, silly me, right? And because she was so into the game, all she did was kept clicking the button. And then I see credit card charges on my account and I'm like, okay, what is this? So the Central Land will have a lot of ground to cover because Roblox already have so many uh, worlds that have been created. Roblox have so many uh, uh, universes, so many gamers. Uh, there's so much uh, uh, resources that Roblox have. So, but let's get into this article and let's see how you, you know, you you think about such. All right. So the article states everyone is talking about the metaverse lately. The promise of people socializing and conducting business in interactive virtual worlds has investors and major corporations alike scrambling to get a ground floor position in this potential next big thing trend right so roblox stands as one of the biggest players in the space and has climbed to the market capitalization of roughly 76.5 billion thanks to strong engagement but that's not the only fast growing metaverse problem decentraland is a metaverse that's built on top of the ethereum blockchain if anyone know about the Ethereum blockchain knows that the gas fees are crazy when you are trying to buy uh buy into platforms like this. You know, it's is is can be crazy if you don't find the right source to get in. And as many a cryptocurrency token has stellar gains this year surging interest in both digital currencies and interactive virtual platforms. Mana is up roughly 6,000% across 2021's trading and some investors are betting that its run has just started. Uh, also, tell me below if you already invested in Mana. I'm, I'm interested to know. Um, and I got two articles that we're gonna read about it. Also, I did a video about how Barbados uh, and if you read the story recently, Barbados broke away from Europe. They broke away from the, qu the queen and people applauded and it was happy. But do people really understand why did uh, why did they break away from the queen? That's because Barbados is placing their embassy dun, 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 right inside of Central Land, the Central Land. I'm sorry. So Barbados will be the first sovereign nation to place an embassy inside of the metaverse, right? And this, the, and even placing their uh, 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 embassy inside of the metaverse, they still will be protected as a, a, a by the Geneva Convention. So it it all's aligning up that the metaverse will be the big thing. It's going to happen, folks. Understanding the central land and the uh, and the mana token. The Central Land Metaverse allows users to purchase virtual tracts of land in its world and design and outfit them as they see fit. A user could buy space in the Central Land in order to show off the non fungible tokens or NFTs that they own. 
Potentially, they hope for attracting the audience and selling them to for healthy prices. The clothing brand to buy land and use it as advertised and sell it in the latest fashions and function as a social media hub for its brand devotees. Think about Nike, how Nike just bought, and not just bought, I'm sorry, I misstated. They're designing shoes solely for the metaverse, and they're going to be designing shoes for Roblox. So that's going to be one of the first places where a brand as such um, is de designing clothing um, for the metaverse. And also Adidas bought uh, land inside of the sandbox. So it's, it's, it, this is definitely something that's taking place and it's happening. A plot of land in Decentraland's virtual metaverse recently sold for $2.43 million and the team of investors who bought the track of digital land plans to eventually host fashion shows and sell goods in this space. The mono token, token is, is the currency that users tra uh, transact with inside of Decentraland and an explosion of interest in the metaverses could help spur more explosive gro growth in it. Put Mana's incredible gains and outlook in context. The Central Lands has attracted attention and seen the valuation of the Mana token explode largely thanks to speculation. After stellar gains this year, the cryptocurrency has market capitalization of roughly $8.7 billion and ranks as the 23rd largest cryptocurrency by market cap. Of course, people aren't just buying Mana in, in order to carry out transactions in Decentraland, as it stands right now, most people buying and selling the cryptocurrency are probably doing it doing so with the intention of making a profit on a trade rather than transacting within a Decentraland. If Decentraland managed to grow to the size of Roblox, that would simply uh, would imply roughly 780 percent upside for the Mana token. Based on, a, on previous incredible bull runs that have helped power the cryptocurrency market and the potential for an individual tokens to post huge gains on every little news. It's within the realm of possibility that the central land valuation could pass Roblox's current level. However, the blockchain based metaverse will likely need to continue adding users at a rapid clip and record consistently strong engagement trends for benefit more runaway valuation speculation. Now, this is sound good so far. Uh, I hope that it runs up valuation as an investor in, of course, Mana. But when you think about it, the only way that the Central Land can surpass Roblox is that all of the children that's playing on Roblox and have their gaming set up they're going to have to migrate over to like the sandbox or the central land only for that to happen. If the children stay in Roblox, then the central land, of course, will have their users because there's a child being born every day and Roblox will be like old to them and the central land will be new to the to the new child. But you got to understand the children or the adolescents are the ones that's running these gaming worlds. Yes, older people are the investors, but the children are running it. Roblox ended the first quarter with 43.3 million daily active users. Meanwhile, the Central Land active user base numbers in the low thousands and looks uh, part tree by comparison. The valuation for the Mana token isn't closely tied to user engagement of transaction within the Central Land metaverse yet. But investors should keep in mind that the blockchain based virtual platform is still at a very early growth stage compared to some existing players in the broader space. Now, when you think about Minecraft and the Central Land, those were probably two of the uh, play, uh, 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 games in the metaverse. The granddaddy of it all. I think that, um, uh, I think that Roblox was first, even though um, Minecraft gained a more popularity at one point before Roblox kept chipping away at it. Mana is very high risk, but the metaverse is just heating up. So do not invest money that you are scared to lose. But if you invested two, three hundred dollars in 
mana, you may be on that play for like two years before you see a healthy gain. Yes, you probably could chip away and start taking away profits, but that healthy gain probably going to be about two years away because you're talking about 47.3 active users. The Central Land will have to get that type of um those type users and it won't be to the current kids that's probably playing roblox because they're probably not going to abandon roblox just out of the blue they're probably going to have to be new like the new kids is growing up to be introduced to like the sandbox or the central land for this to happen right the central land cryptocurrency appears to be generating interest for the platform and it's possible that its first mover position in blockchain based metaverses will be a foundation that keeps to much bigger things for risk tolerant investors looking for exposure to the inter uh, intersection of cryptocurrencies and the nfts and the metaverse the mono token could make a natural portfolio addition looking at the valuation and engagement engagement levels that roblox has achieved it's possible that the central land and the mono token still have an explosive runway for expansion however an investor should proceed with the understanding that the cryptocurrency token valuation has mostly been driven higher by speculation and prices could uh, fluctuate dramatically based on the platform's progress and, tr and trends sharply the broader cryptocurrency market all right so comment below tell me how you think about the central land are you invested do you think that is overhyped? Are you investing in Roblox? And you feel that that's the way to be invested in first, right? This is Antonio with Team Tigio. Please like, comment, and subscribe as we'll be coming to you with more videos in the future. And once again, we will see you next time.